Tesla finally unveiled the Cybercab, its first vehicle without a steering wheel or pedals, leaving driving entirely at the whims of artificial intelligence. While the demo rides on the premises of Warner Bros. Studios were certainly impressive, it could take years before we'll see some of them on public roads. Tesla plans to start the first tests in California and Texas in 2025. Tesla's Wii Robot event was as impressive as a sci-fi show can be, fulfilling some people's expectations while leaving others wanting. Like many other Tesla events, it was not meant to show anything available today, the EV maker calls these shows delivery events. Instead, it's more like a window into the future, showing the technology that will excite us years from now. Sometimes, as was the case with the Cybertruck, 4,680 cells, or the Roadster 2, more years than we expected. That's not to say that the Cybercab Robotaxi disappointed in any way. You can argue with the choice of having only two seats, but that was the plan all along. As a bonus, the Cybercab has a vast trunk that could easily offer two jumper seats if Tesla wanted to. The EV maker argued that most of the rides in the US are for singles or two people, so it came up with this design. Speaking of which, the Cybercab is pretty much in line with previous renderings, down to the butterfly doors. Despite its name, there's not much resemblance to the Cybertruck other than the front and rear light bars. Oh, and it appears to have no paint, just like the Cybertruck. The overall design looks roundish, giving us a glimpse at the long-promised Tesla compact EV we're yet to see. Of course, the most important Cybercab feature is the lack of a steering wheel and pedals, which was expected for a robo-taxi. The large center screen is the only interface between the machine, its neural network autonomous driving software, and the passengers. Tesla doubled down on vision-based full self-driving software, with cameras as the only way to assess the surroundings. However, the Cybercab has additional cameras, as revealed by curious people attending the event. Instead of just two windshield cameras, it has three, much like the HW3 Tesla EVs. It also comes with a front bumper camera, something that only the Cybertruck has for now, but doesn't use yet. Tesla will use the next-generation AI5 hardware for the robo-taxi, which is expected, considering it will not be available until late 2026. Despite this long time window, it appears that Tesla gave its future robo-taxi business a lot of thought. The Cybercab would be available for purchase at a price below $30,000. Operating costs should be lower than public transportation systems, at about 20 cents per mile. Tesla also imagined a robotic cleaning system for the Cybercab, as well as the rumored inductive charging system that would allow it to operate completely unsupervised. Given all these features, human intervention will be seldom needed, with one person able to take care of a small fleet of robo-taxis. That is, until Tesla launches the Optimus robot, at which point humans would become redundant. However, there's a caveat that might curb people's enthusiasm, the unsupervised FSD software that should drive the Cybercab is still years away from being approved. Tesla expects to start unsupervised FSD tests in California and Texas next year, with a painfully slow rollout as regulators approve it. This explains why the Cybercab would not begin volume production until late 2026. Tesla has built 20 vehicles for the Wii Robot event, but as always, hardware is nothing without software, 